Hi, I'm John Merritt, Director of Applications Engineering at Ideal Power. Today, Mike Barron, Senior Firmware Engineer, and myself will be demonstrating the advanced microgrid features of our 30 kilowatt stability multiport power converter. All of our demos were recorded in Ideal's Research and Development Lab located in Austin, Texas. The 30C3 converter has a three wire, three phase, 480 volt AC power port and two DC power ports enabling high efficiency solar and storage microgrids in one compact enclosure, which weighs about 140 pounds. Multiple 30C3s may be paralleled to support larger microgrid applications. Our demo setup utilizes four 30C3s in 120 kVA nameplate configuration. As we've been talking about earlier, our focus has primarily been on microgrids. Um, but in many, if not all, in almost all microgrid cases, there's another source of energy. Could be a local generator powering a village. We, we bring these solar and storage microgrids to rural electrification for purposes of reducing generator runtime and energy use. But on occasion, you're going to need that generator if it's cloudy or dark or whatever. And so you want to be able to have the equipment both create a grid, which is microgridding, as well as follow the grid. So there's key, two key words here. Forming, we're the grid master. It's our job to create and manage the grid. And following, a grid has been introduced, whether it's the utility grid or a generator, and we move to a following mode. Again, important transitions. Uh, you can apply this both to village power or rural electrification, as well as in building microgrids. For example, if we lost the power in this building, and we had a battery and a solar array connected, we could power this building off this microgrid. Um, pretty much as long as the sun is up, all day. And so people are designing these systems not only for remote power, but also power within buildings. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you the transitions from farming, where we're the master, we're the grid, to following, where we introduce the grid, and the grid says, I got it, hand it back to me, and then back to forming again. So there's two key transitions. There's following to forming and forming to following. And that's what Mike is going to go through now. What we have is a um, 24 kilowatt load. We have all four converters in forming mode and he'll take it from here. Okay. So right now I've got all four converters online but they're in their standby state so there's nothing happening at the moment but I'm going to turn them on and immediately they'll pick up the load that uh, is out there, so that's 24 kilowatts. You can see that split between them, six kilowatts apiece. There's also about 16 kVar of reactive load out there. That's also shared between the four of them. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put us on the grid and let's capture it up here so we can see it in some detail. All right, let's go on grid. There's the contactor close. And let's let that get out here in the middle. And let's get zoomed in on that. OK, so this is the point of the transition right here. There we go. A couple of things to look at here. One, notice that the voltage waveform is continuous. There's no anomalies, no distortion in that. The other is. Over here on this side, this larger section of blue or for the current, that higher magnitude current, that's when we were a microgrid and we were supplying all the power to the load. Over on this side, you can see that it's going to drop down to almost nothing. At that point, we're on grid and the utility grid's actually providing the power to the load. On this side, you'll notice that the current waveform has got some little jags and noise in it. That's just characteristic of utility grid power that you would get from a city utility grid. Uh, you'll also see uh, some raggedness like that from generators frequently. Uh, but if you look at what we're providing, one of the things that we provide is very high quality power. So both the voltage waveforms and the current waveforms are very smooth. The next thing to notice up here in the top you can see that we didn't instantaneously change from supplying a lot of power to supplying no power we actually ramped that down. And what that does is that makes a much kinder, gentler entry into the grid. Uh, utility grid providers are 
uh, less favorable of sudden entries. They much prefer a gradual entry like this. It puts less stress on them, gives them greater opportunity to respond with their own generators if there's a large change in load. Now I'm going to go and take us back off the grid so we can see what that looks like. Again, you heard the contactor close, or open in this case. And if we zoom in on that transition point, there we go. We can see once again the voltage waveform continuous without breaks. And you can see we had little or no contribution of current. And then after we take over the microgrid again, we have the current that we're supplying to the load. Thanks for your time today. We really appreciate you dialing into this microgrid demo. Please contact us if you have any additional questions regarding our products or technology. And have a great day.